we are asked to find the domain. And the index is six, and six is even. You cannot take the square root, or the fourth root, or the sixth root, whatever, if you have an even index, you can't take the four, sixth root of a negative number. Now, if it's odd, if the index is odd, you can take the cube root of a negative number. But in this case, you can't take, this has to be positive. Now, you could also take the square root of zero, because the square root of zero is zero. But what I've circled has to be greater than or equal to zero. So set that up as an inequality. Five minus, five minus x must be greater than or equal to zero. And now solve for x. It's negative x is greater than or equal to negative five. Now divide both sides by negative one. And when you divide by negative, an inequality by a negative number, you have to reverse the inequality. So x is less than or equal to five. And now we need to write interval notation. And sometimes I think it's easier if you draw it on the number line first and then graph, then write your interval notation. So that's x is less than or equal to 5. And know the interval notation is always where your solution set starts and where it ends. So this solution starts at negative infinity, and that's a parenthesis, and it goes up to 5, and 5 is included because you can take the square root of 0. So this is your domain.